name is Simone and I'm the founder and executive creative director of Simone Jewels. This is my 10th year at SIJE, so it is a very sentimental year for me because I remember when I first started here, we only had a 9 square meter booth. So through SIJE, we have grown a lot. Over the last few years, we have uh, progressed to a 36 square meter booth. We try to um, bring a different experience to our customers every year. As much as possible, the booth exudes a lifestyle kind of a format, welcoming people and encouraging them to walk all the way in to see our pieces. As you can see from the colours and the design, this year is a little bit edgier because we've just launched our 2024 uh, collection named Tattoo. Uh, as the name says, it is inspired by the history and story of Tattoo. So the pieces are really literally taking motifs out of tattoo, focusing on four messages, uh, which is life, courage, beauty and love. This year, I think the show has been extremely interesting. Uh, we expected to be busy, but we didn't expect it to be more busy than expected. So we are seeing a lot of new faces, which are fantastic. And we're also seeing a lot of um, regular faces. In fact, yesterday I met with a customer, who was the first customer who bought for me at my first show here 10 years ago. So that to me was very sentimental as well. Double Jewels, this is our third time here in the SIJE. For us, we are the fourth generation jeweller and we do an end-to-end -end in terms of manufacturing and at the same time designing for clients in Singapore in terms of bespoke and also high-value gemstones. We are back here again because I think it's, it's such a fun place to meet, after, especially after the whole two years back then. We have been meeting a lot more people. I think as the country has opened up and also at the same time uh, there are more exhibitors this year so we are meeting more international buyers international friends for that matter who are looking into different different various designs for jewelry that they can collect even after uh, the past year so it's like a restart button so it's, it's nice to be back Caroline and I'm from CW Jewels. We are the official curator for Indonesian Pavilion for the past three years. So this year we are celebrating always as always, right, craftsmanship and pearl. Indonesia is one of the largest exporters of pearls in the world. So we are celebrating that. We are able to do South Sea, one of the best South Seas. We are, that's where pearls are from, South Sea pearls are from. And at the same time, we are always honoured to be working with most of the micro businesses over from the different islands of Indonesia back down here to Singapore bringing you the best craftsmanship around Indonesia. After three years being of a country partner uh, we've definitely gained so much traction we've made new friends who are learning more about the culture of Indonesia which is such a great time you know we are, we are having a great time because to share about the country the craftsmanship, the manufacturing processes of how they do it, especially handmade products. So SIJ has embarked, you know, when we embarked three years ago, it has always given us that platform for local designers to reach international level. So we are very, very grateful for that and we are having a blast here. My name is Jack Zibert, I'm the CEO of Zido Italy. It's an Italian brand specialised in very high quality. We only use uh, top uh, diamonds, D to F color, VS and VVS. And we make everything 100% made in Italy, in Valenza, near Milan, where all the top jewelry makers are there, like Cartier, Bulgari. So we specialize in design, but at the same time quality, investment pieces. We have a very uh, wide variety of products. We have been coming to Singapore since the beginning. More than 20 years I've been coming to in this market. Everybody knows us and they know our reputation for quality and special design. Well, uh, we're always happy to be here because uh, most of uh, my customers, they're not only customers, they're really friends or we consider them even like family. So it's not only we sell jewelry to them, we enjoy being with them, we enjoy seeing them. Uh, sometimes we party with them. The people here are very friendly. Uh, we're always happy to come here and see them. It's not only a question of business, but also a question of friendship. So we're always excited to come here. My name is Mattia. 
I'm the third generation of Massimo Rettori Jewelry. Our company, a family company, was established later 17th by my grandfather. Since the beginning, we are focused on that is the quality. For us, the quality always comes first. A happy customer means a happy business for us. The quality has to drive all of our business since the early hours in the morning to the later hour when we leave our factory. This is almost my 10 years that I've been exhibiting here in Singapore and I'm excited. Every year I'm excited since my first time here. The mentality of Singaporean people looking always for the quality make me very happy and glad to be here and try to offer my products. I'm Joe from Bima. We are basically from India. There's a, we have a traditional jewelry manufacturers and retailer for the India. We have a number of showrooms in Karnataka in India. It's all handcrafted uh, product and the selected product also we have a displayed here. We have one of the traditional jewelers and we 100 years over our showroom started in 100 years and we thought of uh, come to an international expose SIJ to reach out internationally because Singapore is one of the best places. So this is a very good platform to our brand to introduce to internationally. We have met a lot of uh, customer who from Malaysia and other countries. So we are very good. We are doing good actually and good inquiry is there. This is the first time we have ventured in SIJE and the last two days have been really, really splendid for us. We have met many of our uh, Indians living here in Singapore and we have uh, got some uh, very good response from people coming from Malaysia, Korea and various other parts. So we look forward this as a very good platform for us to enter this territory wherein uh, jewellery is uh, very much preferred, liked by various parts of the world. We look forward for a better response tomorrow and uh, day after because of the weekend. The crowd is really awesome here. We have a wide range of gold and diamond jewellery. We bring in a lot of uh, ethnicity from India in terms of uh, you know, uh, our intricate gold and diamond jewellery. This is a new offering to this part of the world and we would uh, take pride uh, you know, bringing in this variety, this uh, ethnic traditional Indian jewellery uh, to the Southeast Asian countries. Thank you. Hi, I'm Afzal from State Property. We're a Singaporean-based international fine jewellery label. We focus on contemporary fine jewellery pieces that our clients can wear every day, versatile, very wearable and high quality. So we specialize in a lot of signet rings and people know us for our enamel work. Me and my wife Reying, we started this brand eight years ago. She was trained in jewellery design at Central St. Martins and I was studying product design in NUS. We wanted to create a brand that could express what we saw or what we observed around the world, but also a brand that could represent a new age of fine jewellery basically. So we're looking to create pieces that estate jewellery for the next generation. SIJE has been a fantastic opportunity for us to meet new clients. We're a relatively young brand and quite new to the industry. So SIJE being an institution of fine jewellery here in Singapore, I feel like it's uh, the perfect platform for us to meet their loyal fan base. Hi, I'm Ronald from Ivy Masterpiece and we specialize in bespoke jewellery. We're from Singapore and we are very proud to hand make most of our pieces here in Singapore. Oh, being SIJ is like being back home. We've been here for the last 18 years and it's always an amazing experience. It's always nice to meet the lovely people here and of course the exhibitors as well. It's nice to finally back in this new normal and I'm glad, you know, COVID's behind us. Yeah. I'm uh, Nikhil Arora and I'm with Jaipur Jewels 1949 Private Limited. So we're a Singapore-based independent jewellery label. We've been operating out of Singapore for the last 35 years and uh, we continue to you know, develop this local market and have been in the region as well. SIJE has been great so far. I think year on year, it's proven to be a landmark show in the Singapore exhibition calendar space, specific for jewelry. And that's a testament not just to the government, I think, but also the show organizers as well. You know, they've year on year, they've increased the number of participants and visitors as well. And 
you know, they always look forward to coming to see us with new ideas and new designs and new trends, not just with the local market, but obviously with the global market as well. My name is Sagar Mehta. I'm the director of Infinity Jewels. Infinity Jewels is a local brand established in Singapore since 1982. We specialize in investment grade gems and high-end fine jewelry. All of our production is based out of Hong Kong, produced there, um, but we have markets in Singapore, Malaysia and the Middle East. We feel fantastic to be back. We see it's very vibrant. We see a lot of the old players, but especially some new players that have come here. So it shows great confidence in people coming to Singapore, giving a lot of choices to the consumers as well as some of the buyers coming to SIJE this year. I'm a mother of three kids, which is a very big thing for me. Um, and this is my fourth child. So I've been running Vihari Jewels for about, wow, I'm old now, 17 years. And um, it's been a brand that I've always wanted to explore since I was in college. And I wanted to show people that jewelry was just beyond jewelry. And it had a lot of meaning. And uh, what we do is we try to sell pieces that are investments and also something that you can wear every day and pass down. So that is a little bit about my brand. I mean, you know, it is a great show that is in Singapore, probably one of the biggest uh, with international jewelers. It's nice to be here as a homegrown brand and um, to expose, you know, ourselves to a lot of walk-ins that come in that don't necessarily come in where we are placed right now in Paragon. So it's a nice platform. Leonardi is a family business founded from my grandfather in 1962 specialize in the color gemstone. So we use only natural gemstone, in particular emerald, sapphire and ruby. And uh, we are very proud to work with the jewelry, uh, in particular to create always uh, some new design that will be very iconic for the world. Last year we all launched the anime collection, a very iconic design and became from our family iconic symbol. And this year we are launching the new collection, the Lichosa, that is inspired to an important plant that is famous inside the interior design. Our company is still based in Italy, so we are proud to create all our jewelers entirely in our factory, so it's 100% handmade in Italy, and all our design is unique. SIJ for us is really a special exhibition. It's really important to be here, especially for uh, this edition, so 2023. We are decided to launch here, during this uh, show, our newest collection. So we consider it a uh, really important affair. I'm JC, I'm from the Gem. I'm the business development manager for the Gem. For us, we are specializing mostly in gemstones and diamonds in very high quality. We have been operating 40 over years and we have been participating in SIJE for many years as well. SIJE has been a great platform for the Gem to meet and greet new customers and to catch up with our existing customers as well. And we can actually educate the customers like in terms of the quality of the gemstones and the diamonds. A lot of customers are actually very, very curious about it like asking well, what's pigeon blood, what's royal blue, or even some of our natural pearls that we have. And yeah, it has been a great catch-up session with them. My name is Fazal Oli Mahmat. We are basically experienced in the jewelry trade from our father's time in Singapore for over 40 years already. And we have moved to Kuala Lumpur and established a jewelry company more on the niche market and our specialty is basically to design jewelries for customers who want something different, something unique and not a repetition of uh, the regular mass-produced jewelry. So that is our specialty and we have ready-made jewelry too, loose diamonds and other products. So our basic idea to participate in this exhibition is to come and observe what is the status of the consumers in Singapore so that if opportunity arises, we may come and establish a company in Singapore under the name of Faik Jewels. 
Well, this is our first year in SIJE. So that uh, the reason is to, like I said, is to survey the opportunity, what the show will uh, give to us in terms of customers' responses to our kind of jewelry. So basically, we are more on a survey uh, mission here to see the situation of the market after COVID and things like that.